Hi there folks, uh, here's a little uh, steam engine. I picked this one up on eBay, uh, it came from Shanghai in China and as soon as I saw it at the right price I just had to have one. Now you have a little burner here that goes in and this is unscrews and is the boiler. Now there's no safety valve on it but of course there's only a, about two millilitres of water that goes in so it only runs for a couple of minutes and it's a single action little wobbler and I'll make a video of it and post it so you can see it running but other than that I need to show you this so with my new lathe I am sort of in the attempt of copying it but just sort of going with what I had, some scrap and various bits and pieces of brass. I made the flywheel for this one out of, this is a plumbing thing that goes into a compression joint to block off an end if you're removing a pipe from a sort of T or something and you want to block it off without putting a, a blanking nut on the top of it and I turned that down to be the the flywheel. A, the actual brass bar stock came out of a lump of this really rough looking and slightly bent a bar which I picked up in a scrapyard and I was able to mill that down into a usable size so this is about maybe about 25 mil wide and has like a bit of damage in the end but you get about and it's 6 mil thick and you get about 20 mil usable bar stock out of it. Now I made a mistake when I joined the base to this plate I used a screw I should have really used soft solder like the way this one has been done and then I realized that where the screw comes up into this block eh, is where the inlet and exhaust for the steam for the wobbler was going to be so I'm going to have to rethink my design I'm actually thinking of actually making or putting a piece along the top here something like this and milling it to shape it'll not be that big or clumsy looking and actually putting two pistons on so it'll be a v-twin just for the fun of it but unfortunately at the moment I'm sort of stuck because the vice that I have can't be locked down to the lathe bed absolutely perfectly and it runs off slightly and I'm waiting on the correct one uh, being delivered and uh, I need a few more bits of or I need have cutters that I ordered that still are on their way and for the moment I'm sort of just setting that aside I may continue on a bit with it but for now that's about as far as I've got and you'll see the rest of it soon so bye bye for now